Okay, my phone keeps running out of batteries. This is chapter four, part three. Today, 2019, we are all still worse in this era, Laodicea. It will end when disciples burn incense, the, the warriors of the rainbow throne room, when Jesus, both Eilis Lassiai and Jesus, or the Lion of Judah, Jah, returns to Jerusalem, the Mount of Olives, to begin the millennium of peace and open the seventh seal. Ethiopia will return the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem through tunnels they've dug. The 144,000 soul groups and the white robes, warriors, etc., when we are ready, likely after World War III, Revelations 8, 1 through 6, the trumpets will sound as the rainbow warriors unite to heal the earth, the seventh trumpet. So today we are in the era of Laodicea, Revelations 3, 14 through 19. The ancient city of Laodicea was the place with the best universities in the world. It had the best doctors and a famous eye solve. It represents the pride of Babylon. It was and is a wonderful place like today. One big problem, however, with Laodicea was the river or the water was warm and gross, making people spit it out because it was gross. Today's food is practically poison. The reason Eile Slossii, the most I, came and went like a thief in the night was because he left a message, a lesson, in the form of his life story, opening the first six seals. This is why the Yan Sui Faith finds the required books, the autobiographical books of Eile Slossii, as the most important books one can read more important than the Bible itself. If that were possible, it is not one must be properly prepared to overstand. If we are to learn how to stop Babylon and begin the world peace and healing the earth, the millennium, then this is the possibly just a spark to start the fire. So read them. They're called My Life in Ethiopia's Progress, Volume 1 and Volume 2 especially volume one. It is part of the Bible. The Bible is all too important. It is the living waters, Jah. So when Jah calls the soul groups, the rainbow warriors, the hill, we will hear his voice and recognize it at the sound of the seventh trumpet, the opening of the seventh, seventh seal, when Jesus lands on the Mount of Olives, or not lands, because it's not the rapture. Maybe it's someone we all accept, I'm not really, you know, it hasn't happened yet. I don't know what's going to happen. But the prophecies sound thus. Revelations 3, 20 through 22, 7, and 7, verse 17. Matthew 25, 1 through 13. 